All right, so it's been a while since I've made a video and um, I just hit 20 hours, 20 operational hours on this tractor. Um, since I last made my video, um, sold the Kubota. It just wasn't uh, worth having around uh, on the farm. Just didn't pick up enough. And I mean, that's the whole reason we upgraded to the John Deere, but I bought this. It's a 1950 John Deere M two cylinder. Absolutely love it. I'm in the rebuilding process right now. I uh, wouldn't even run when I got it. It's running now. Um, tore it down. Carburetor will be here tomorrow. Uh, so I'll make a video on this one. Pretty excited. Keeping it original 6 volt too. Uh, original Marvel carburetor. Uh, I'm going to put back on it. Pretty excited back to this one so um, 20 operational hours the only difference is from last time to this time is this harness right here this is for a uh, frontier pressure sprayer right there in the corner it's a ls2004 12 foot boom and my dealership uh, included in the price i'm assuming they said it was free but they picked up my tractor, brought it to the dealership, installed the wiring harness, and I'm good to go. So I have done everything from bush hogging, tilling, moving gravel, moving compost, moving wood chips, leveling, you name it. It has been a short but long 20 operational hours. Um, I've not had one leak. I have not had one issue. According to the app, I have not had a true uh, code. Remember in my earlier videos, I made some codes pop just to show them. Uh, but other than that, I've had no issues whatsoever. Uh, no leaks right here. Uh, no leaks on the ground. No hydraulic fittings loose. No electrical connectors loose. Um, the bucket. I've had all kinds of material in there, and um, the bucket is in great shape. Um, I have seen videos where people complain about it, saying that it bends and stuff like that, but I can tell you I've, I've worked this thing pretty good, um, and it would take a lot of force to bend the bucket. I just don't see that happening using it in a reasonable manner. So especially if you want to take care of it. We want this thing for the long term and in order for us to do that, we got to take care of it. Um, it's been outside, uh, especially when we were redoing this place. I had uh, implements all over the place. We got a cedar, pretty excited about that one. It's a tar river. It's actually made in North Carolina. Uh, pretty, pretty happy that uh, I could support a local company. Um, I actually bought that from a John Deere dealer. It wasn't my direct dealer. I got it from a different John Deere dealer. Uh, the price point for that cedar, um, it's a drill, uh, was really, really cheap um, compared to more of a name brand cedar. So if you want me to make a video of any of my implements, let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to. Um, with the 3025, I did get the uh, Frontier Tiller, the biggest one I could get. It's the RT3062. Um, everything I'm trying to get is quick match. But uh, back to the 20 hour review, I just don't have a lot. There's not been any issues. Everything has worked as good as it should. I've got it pulled into the barn because um, technically an hour overdue for um, for doing the 10 hour service, which is just greasing everything, checking fluids. And um, if you remember in the 10 hour video, the torque or the torque check for the tires uh, didn't, didn't make it. So I had to retorque them. So I'm gonna check them again, just spot check, make sure there's no issues. Um, but overall, very, very happy with the uh, 3025. I'm so glad the dealer and my wife uh, said that I should get the three series and not the two. So that's about it. Hope you have a good day and thanks for watching.